Let's take a quick look at the Brave web browser. When you first open it and it's first installed, it'll look like this. This is sort of your home screen, your dashboard. Along here, it'll show tiles of websites that you visited in the past, and it shows your reward balance if you have rewards enabled. It shows the time, and also how much time it's saved you by blocking ads and kind of how it's protecting your privacy. If you don't already have Brave installed, um, you, I showed you in the last video how to download and install it on Windows. It also runs on Mac and Linux, and there's even uh, mobile apps for Android and I believe iPhone. Um, if you click up here in the top right-hand corner, we can get into all of our settings. So I go to settings. Notice it looks a lot like, uh, at least this interface here, looks a lot like Google Chrome. That's because Brave is based off of the source code for Chrome, for Chromium. Um, but here in the settings, here's all of our settings for the Brave. So when you first get it installed, it's a good idea to come here and go to this Getting Started. And then you can change, for example, you can make it your default browser if you want. Then when you open web pages or, or click on hyperlinks, like in a PDF document, it will open in Brave if you want that to happen. You can come here and set a an icon. So just, just an icon to kind of, um, so that you recognize um, when you're on your account. So you'll want to click something uh, here and you can put a name too. So I'll just call this TJ Free. Uh, and we can just go back. Um, it just saves it automatically just by clicking back. So now it's saved in here. Uh, let's see here. We can go to, if you want, you can import book, uh, if you use bookmarks and different settings from either uh, any other browser, you can import them in. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make this my default browser. So I click make default and then on Windows, we just have to scroll down here and go to web browser and then click Brave. And that's how we set it as our default browser. Um, you can choose what happens when you first start it up. So right now it's just gonna be right where I left off. So we can change the colors here. There's a dark mode um, and there's also a light mode. I actually use it in dark mode, which I, I kind of like this mode, but I'm gonna keep it in light for the video. It kind of helps, it's easier for people to see. It's a good idea if you're not sure what to do, just leave everything else default. It has really good setups for default uh, for things like this shields here uh, is going to be like how it's protecting you. So it, like scripts, for example, aren't blocked by default because that'll break a lot of websites. They won't work for you. But if you want to be extra secure, you can come in here and change some of these different settings. But by default, it's very secure uh, and uh, you know keeps track of everything pretty well and keeps you safe while browsing. Um, for the search engine, the default one is, is Google. I like to use DuckDuckGo. So I, I usually come in and change that to DuckDuckGo. Uh, what else? It's just good to know that some of these different options are here. It has this, uh, I haven't used this much, but this IPFS companion could be really cool if you're into IPFS, which you're probably not, but um, uh, all your different extensions are here. So it comes with some extra extensions already installed, and then you can install other ones, um, of course. Two things I really like about Brave that I haven't found in other browsers is that it has integration with the Tor network for private and anonymous, semi-anonymous browsing. Um, and it also has um, a built-in torrent uh, software. So I'll show you how those work. Um, the first one, we can go right-click up here and go to, we can go new private window. You've probably done this before. Um, it just clears out. So it doesn't save um, cookies. It doesn't save like lots of information. So websites that you visit up here, it won't store information about in your history. Um, and when you close out of this window, it all gets forgotten on your computer, but it can still be remembered by the sites that you visit. So an, an extra, um, something you should probably get familiar with is you can get do a private window with Tor. And what this does is it routes it through the Tor network, which means it goes to other people's computers that are running Tor nodes, um, and it routes it around to different computers, and it makes it uh, so that the sites you visit aren't seeing your IP address. They're actually seeing um, uh, uh, someone else's IP address. So it can kind of it can make it so that you're a little bit more protected, but you should learn how to use this. But it's a really cool feature that's built in to Brave. And then for web torrents, it's cool because we can do, um, like if uh, we go, maybe I think one of these, uh, let's go to Linux Mint and we'll just try to download a, uh, a torrent. And it makes it so that we don't have to have uh, torrent software installed like uh, a Qubit torrent or something on our computer or uh, transmission. Let's just go to... 64-bit, uh, I think there, yeah, there's a torrent right here. So we can click this torrent link, and then we can just download it right here in the browser. We just click Start Torrent. This is like torrenting, if you're not familiar, it's like file sharing. A lot of people use it to download illegal content like uh, music and videos and games, but it you can uh, you can use it legitimately as well. And I'm just downloading right now, it's downloading this from 135 different computers all over the world. It's gonna take approximately 40 minutes 
um, the whole file is two gigabytes. And when it's done, I can just download this right to my computer. But it's all, it's all happening within the browser, which is great. Uh, let's go back here because I want to show you. We have this Brave Rewards. So Brave Rewards, it lets, lets you be able to get paid to see ads if you want to. So by default, this is not enabled. You can learn all about it here. But to enable it, you just click Yes, I'm in. And it creates a wallet for you, a specific wallet. It's kind of like an email address, but it's for receiving money. This is a cryptocurrency. Um, I think it's an Ethereum token. So it's this BAT, it's a basic attention token. So right now I have zero dollars worth, but as I start using and seeing ads, ads will pop up in the corner of my screen here. Uh, and just for seeing them, I get paid a little bit. Just for visiting certain sites, I get paid. Um, and so this is just saying that I'm going to see ads. And then also I can turn on this auto contribute, which it keeps track of different sites that I visit. And I can actually contribute sort of like micro tip them like a couple pennies automatically every month to help support them. So that's kind of cool. I'm actually on my website, TJ free. I'm a registered or whatever. I'm a, an approved uh, website, I think. And so when you visit, if you spend a lot of time on my site, you can choose to auto contribute um, part of your um, this, uh, you set a certain amount towards it at. So this is 20 basic attention tokens, which is like, you don't have to worry about this, but I'm just curious. We can see the value of a basic attention token right now because it changes in value, goes up and down, just like the stock market kind of. So right now it's worth 18 cents, one basic attention token. You can actually just buy these two if you want. I like can invest in them, I suppose, but I don't necessarily recommend it. So 20, this is 20 times 18 cents. So 20 times, so about $4, is that right? So every month you would give $4 to some content producers if you want to. You can even just turn this off if you don't want to. Uh, but then you'll get paid about, that's coincidentally about what you get paid every month, 3 to $5 just for using this. So on June 5th, I'm going to get paid a certain amount, uh, you know, a couple dollars just for using this browser, which is kind of cool. Oh, I should mention too, I think I have an affiliate link somewhere. I'll include it in the link in the description. So if you do download the Brave browser, um, I'll get a kickback. Um, I'll get some... Uh, money for referring you as well and you can refer other people it's part of their marketing uh, as well i don't like to hype that stuff too much because this is just such a cool browser that i don't want people to feel like i'm trying to make money off of getting you to use it but it is a, a cool browser anyway you can verify your wallet they have it um uh here i think it's is this the uphold yeah this is linked to uphold i'm really not impressed with uphold at all i really hope brave moves away from using them as their wallet provider but for now you have to go through them to get your payout uh, what else do we have here? Uh, you can click on crypto wallets over here if you're more into cryptocurrency. I'm not going to dive into this too much, but you can link like a hardware wallet, for example. There's integration with MetaMask uh, for doing smart contracts. So um, you can do some cool stuff there. But you know what? I'm just going to stop this video now. I kind of spent a long time talking about the rewards here. Um, your downloads are here. So history of downloads that you've done. Your bookmarks are here. Um, all of your web history is going to be here. Sites that you visited. Uh, and then you can you know, come out and delete history just like you could any other browser as well. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool stuff. So hopefully um, I would recommend you use the, web, the Brave Web Browser. Give it a try. It's going to protect your privacy a lot and give you a lot more control over your uh, internet experience. And you can also um, you know, be more in control of the ads that you see if you want to see ads and make some you know, share in that uh, advertising revenue uh, and share how your data is is used with those advertisers. Thanks for watching, guys. Go ahead and leave your questions and comments below if you have any, and I look forward to catching you in the next video.